Well, hello, hello, Nashla Kayla family. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, today's video is all about nails and I'm doing an at-home manicure for you all, so stay tuned. I'm first just starting off just soaking my hands in some warm water and I've also mixed this with a little bit of the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap just because it is a very softening soap to the skin, so I thought this would really work well. And afterwards, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to cleaning my nails. I'm taking this Revlon tool just to first just push back my cuticles. I know a lot of these clips will be actually sped up, but you'll get the drift. So after I've cleaned underneath all my nails, I'm just gonna clip down the nails that need it the most. All my nails are actually at a pretty good length, so you won't see me clipping out every single nail. After that, I'm taking this electric nail file by the brand Modessa. I did actually file my nails down before doing this with the handheld file, but I was actually out of focus, so I didn't really get a chance to get that part in here, but you will see me at least doing this and just know that I did foul down my entire nail. Now that I got these in shape, I'm just going to go and wash these off. Now that I'm back and ready to go with clean hands, I'm taking this DIY scrub that I actually made a couple months ago and it's so, so simple, y'all. Like this stuff took no time and it didn't actually take me a lot of ingredients to make. So if you would like a video on how I actually made this or what the ingredients are, just let me know in the comments below and I will be sure. But y'all, the scrub made my hands so moisturized and soft. And I'm also just scrubbing my cuticles as well. Um, and this scrub isn't actually too harsh. And that's what I really do like about it also. And it smells so good. So this is definitely a necessary step when I do my nails. And just like the scrub, I'm going to moisturize my hands with also this DIY lotion that I made at the same time that I made my scrub. Um, and both products that I actually made are with essential oils, so keep that in mind. Now I'm going to go into polishing my nails, and I'm taking this Orly Base Coat, and it's the rubberized base coat. And I'm going to coat every single nail with just one layer of this first. Y'all, please know that I am not perfect when it comes to doing my nails um, using my left hand. I am right-handed to the fullest. <laughs> That's me. So I am not perfect at all, but you will see me trying my best. Indeed, you will. Don't judge me. <laughs> so for my actual color today, I'm taking this really nice berry shade by Pure Ice. I really have fallen in love with their shade ranges within the past year or so. And this color is in Speechless. And it really has to be Speechless because it is so pretty and it's actually just the color that I'm feeling right now. So I will apply two coats of this. I'm not sure if I actually film me doing both coats, but you will see me at least applying one. So to top it all off, I'm going in with the Sally Henson Hard as Nails Top Coat. And this is in the color clear. I really love this up because it really allows my nails to last a really long time. And so it's very necessary to have a base and top coat so that your nails can last longer. I'm cleaning up the edges with this 100% acetone. And I know like, yeah, I just could have used regular old nail polish remover, but hey, this will work and it's what I got on hand. Um, and I'm just taking this using just like a small little Artichure brush and you can just use whatever it is that you have on hand um, This is small enough to get around those corners. So this will work just fine And I'm just taking this and cleaning up in places that need it the most Right, 
months so it is at the end and it is time for my nails to dry now i don't normally sit under this kind of handheld nail dryer that i got by the brand modesta also um, and this actually wasn't that pricey. This is something that does take a long time. So I don't always find myself using this. I usually just allow my nails to air dry, but do whatever you find is most convenient to you, but just be <laughs> careful. But y'all, this is the end of the video. And I thank you all again for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, see you next time. Love y'all.